Meat and cheese plate. Meat and cheese plate. Meat and cheese plate. What's up, guys? Today we've decided to buy every single Lunchable at our grocery store to find out which Lunchable is the best. Oh. Each brand, each category, going head to head, and the last one to survive will be crowned the winner and will go on to live a legacy as the best mediocre affordable snack of all time. If you want to see us break down and review your favorite food from the grocery store, make sure to let us know in the comments. And subscribe! Remember this button? Make sure it's this setting so you don't miss another video. Round one, Cracker Stackers. The original, not the original. Portable protein pack? Applegate? Cracker Stacker. Is it? You can't hand me another one. <laughs> I can't hold it! I'm kind of scared of that hot dog one. Shut your eyeball. I got this one. This one. Hillshire Snacky versus Oscar Mayer. This one looks pretty fancy. Monterey Jack cheese with whole wheat crackers. It's the sausage against the wiener. Already, Oscar Mayer's winning. This ham is beautiful. I like Triscuit. I'm just hungry. Salami with natural gouda and roasted rounds. Oh, I think this one's gonna win. I don't like the cracker. I need fresh bread. It's too crispy. It's like a bagel crisps. I'm going Oscar Mayer on this one. Ding, ding, ding. Oscar Mayer, you win. Pick one at random. Here it is. Oscar Mayer versus Armor. That's kind of already winning because they have candy. But remember, you have to compare to this ham and this cheese. Cheers. This definitely has like the children's palate. Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer's still in the lead. Next one. Lunchable Cracker Stacker. I almost want to compare this one with the other brand just to see which one's better. Oh, so the Oscar Mayer is on the top of the list. We're just comparing these two just to know the difference. Wow, look how many crackers you get. Armor doesn't have ridges, but it has more holes. This is the Lunchable, and this is Armor. Ooh, Lunchable sticker. Wow. Swiss versus American. Way more cheese. And is it the same size when you stack it? Oh, it looks like these pieces are a little bit longer, but. <laughs> <laughs> Lunchable's better. Better cracker. Who am I kidding? They taste virtually the same. They're very similar, except uh, I like the cheese better. So Lunchable's is still out though, because Oscar Mayer is here winning the Battle Royale. What? Something organic looking, raised with no antibiotics and growth hormones. This is humanely raised. Did Shake Shack make that? Here it is, sliced smoked turkey, crackers, Kobe cheese, chocolate chip button cookies. Oh, <gasps> those cookies look so adorable. Do they look any better than the other crackers? Yeah. I mean, I think this is why Oscar Mayer keeps winning. Meat is a little subpar. In the battle royale, Greenfield is now out. Oh. Yeah, this one's probably, this just seems expensive. They literally just put a folded piece of meat in there. Your whole point is to be modular. But you're supposed to pull it apart. That's how you eat prosciutto. I want it to come as a perfect circle. I feel like I need red wine when I eat prosciutto. Number one, number one, baby. Really? Yeah, it just pairs perfectly. Wow. All right, Oscar Mayer, we love you. You really did good in this competition. You got really far. You might come back, possibly in a different round with a different food. I don't know. I don't know what we have in the fridge. We'll see you later. Bam! Wow, that was really respectful. Do, 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 do! Hillshire, the small plate prosciutto. It's a little fancy. Next. Snacking just got fancy with these Hillshire things. Oh, I don't know about that meat. It looks like confetti cake. Chin chin. Cheers. This is good. Does it win? All that added stuff they did to the turkey made it not really taste like turkey anymore. This one is out. Prosciutto is staying in. Do, 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 versus. I'm kind of worried about this. It's like a speckled meat. Hillshire all natural chipotle chicken breast with no nitrates or nitrates added. Is chipotle chicken breast better than prosciutto? I'm gonna have to say no. It's spicy. This ain't bad. Do we like prosciutto better? Of course. Is it gone? No. I think prosciutto still wins. If you've never tried prosciutto before, let us know in the comments. Prosciutto still in the lead. Who to do, 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 versus Genoa salami with white cheddar cheese. Dude, that's a thick salami piece. I think that's what I'm saying. Like, you're tasty, but you're thick, girl. I'm gonna have to make that a problem in my book. I can't believe that this is what our conversation is. Move over, Sally. We're coming in with a big one versus. Didn't we already try this one? <laughs> it's flappy. 
All right, so the winner of the Cracker Stacker is Butterfingers. Hillshar won the Battle Royale. Holy cow! Do -do 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 -do. Honorable mention, Oscar Mayer. Boom. Nothing better than a ham slice that's just like a ham slice, but a little smaller than a ham slice. It's not cut too thick. Dee dee dee, little prosciutto on ya. Wow. This is like a little feasty. Honestly, if you show this to someone and like, I don't think they'd point out that's lunchable meat. <laughs> but it is. Gotta add my candy bar on there. We should invite important people over and give them this. Please, Mr. President, come over. I have a very fancy meal for you. <laughs> Next round, pizza. Lunchable against Under Armour. Which one is better? Armour does know how to show up. So just like before, they compensate with a candy bar because the rest of their product is subpar. Well, we don't know that for sure. Under Armour, Lunchable. One obviously stands apart as a winning pepperoni here. Wow. It's way different in size. One definitely has more sauce. Oh my god, it looks like an IV bag. Armor, Lunchable. Wow, they're exactly the same, actually. They, they're in cahoots. Right? They both taste bad. They both taste bad. <laughs> Which one's less bad? Second one's better. You like the Lunchable one better. Yeah. You're right, I didn't taste the pepperoni. But you ate half of one. Yeah. <laughs> they have no flavor. I know which one that one is. Yeah, I can tell from the sauce. Lunchables for pizza is still in the game. Who's going up next? But it wasn't a landslide, it was a close call. So Lunchmaker, I'm proud of you. Pizza, Lunchables versus... Greenfield. It's got uncured smoked pepperoni, pizza shells, mozzarella cheese, and pizza sauce. A. A. Uh, but listen to this. And then listen to this. Oh, I didn't know it was that hard. It's pretty freaking hard. It's like, this is actually a cracker. They look similar though. This one's spicier smelling. So it's probably about the same amount of sauce. Dude, look how many pepperonis they give you though. No one needs four pepperonis on a two inch diameter crust pizza. The toppings are really good, but the crust is so crispy, I don't like it. I think the Lunchable wins. This company's really smart to use the same pizza crust on a Lunchable, because Greenfield, it's an honorable mention for all of the ingredients that you have on here that have no antibiotics or growth hormones. So with that being said, the only thing Pizza Lunchable has to compete against is itself. Is that right? Yes. What? Yeah. It's a Cracker Stacker pizza. They're the same. Oh no, there's no sauce on that? There's no sauce, so it's not actually pizza. Which is why this one automatically wins. Lunchable, you lose a Lunchable. You're actually disqualified. Rah! Whoa, this is like the food that you eat if you're a teenager, not a kid. Whoa, it's like a lunchbox. This is one? How dare they? The cheese mixture is different. Water, fruit roll up, Kool-Aid thing, and cheese it. Ooh, soft. Ooh, soft. Yeah. It's the perfect amount. Lunchable, you keep doing so well. Put like five flakes of cheese on there. It's actually quite accurate. If they actually uploaded a pizza, do you think that then they would be able to export it? <gasps> or download it? Yeah, but they would have to transcode it first. <laughs> Dude, this is like the best meal ever. Fruit roll-ups, cheeses, deep dish pizzas. I don't like the dough. I think this is actually still better. Yeah. I really wanted it to be good because it, it looks, looks so, so good. good. Pizza Lunchables in the pizza round is the winner. Honorable mention, Smithfield. You did good, except your crackers. Next round, the battle of the Brunchables. I never even knew this existed. I got a new product line for you. It's called Supper Snacks. No. Supperware. <laughs> Is that a Pop-Tart? Oh my gosh, it opens up. It's gorgeous. So you add the sausage on there. Wait, do you have to cook that sausage? No, when you eat Lunchables, they're always like ready to eat right away. Yeah, I know, but that's scaring me a little bit. Is that cute? Seems dry, tasteless. They should have condimentables. Ooh, see, that's what I'm gonna go after. I think we already know the winner here, guys. It's basically, what's your favorite protein? I've never had cold sausage before. It's actually good. It's not as bad as it looks. It actually should be like reheated. <laughs> All right, I'm going for a bacon bite. 
It's really good. It is. I think the bacon one is the best already. But it's just like why we like prosciutto because prosciutto is like adult bacon. Even though bacon is also adult for sure. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ham? You know what it basically is? It's pre-cooked bacon before you microwave it. Yep. It's still good. Interesting. It's really trying, but bacon wins the game. I know that the muffins are gonna be delicious. That's why I didn't have to try it. <laughs> there can only be one winner. And bacon! Do, 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 do. Bacon is bay. And so is this. JP, if you go to Hawaii, can I then punch you? <laughs> <laughs> Next category. Oh! Wow. Is this the chicken nugget challenge? I didn't even know this was a thing. I thought the pizza was gonna be the coolest one. So I was like, pizza. Oh, yep, they're all called chicken dunks. Because that's exactly the sound your toilet makes after eating this. No, it's because you're dunking it into a sauce. Okay, the chicken dunks. I'm not making that up, it says it. This one, it's like the, I'm a little bit older, but I'm not a teenager yet box. Like, what is this? I want the whole meal. It looks like they're giving you a ketchup packet and a barbecue packet, which actually I prefer. Kraft, you own Lunchables? I knew it. Fully cooked chicken breasts. They make sure you know. They even have the same speckle of black pepper. All right, Illuminati confirmed. This tastes like a chicken nugget. It's missing heat. Ketchup, dunk, dunk, yes, yes. It's like if you thawed out a frozen chicken nugget. On a real level, who the heck wants to eat a cold chicken nugget? Nobody. Nobody. All right, we'll be right back after we throw up. <laughs> but I am gonna heat up these nuggets later. Nachos. Which one's better? Personally, I like these, but I know you really like these. Ooh, are these tortilla chips bigger? They are different chips. And they're different corn material. There's less masa. It's the same amount of chips. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant better chip because it's bigger it's hard to eat these tiny things yeah every time i eat these i have like funk under all my nails because i keep dipping and then i i scrape them all out and put it like in a little dish no you don't you're disgusting right now you're not noticing that he's in a grow your mustache out challenge that you can find on the jp and julia channel let's say it could be in 30 days it could be in 90 days it just depends when he gives up i'm not giving up it's not my challenge it's your personal challenge okay Okay. Winner. Winner, chicken dinner. Whoa. Can I do a slide? Yeah, do redo more. that, you scared me. Ah! If you get the ham sandwich one, then you get Oreos. And if you get the turkey, you get Hershey Kisses. That doesn't seem equal at all. Two Oreo cookies does not equal two Hershey Kisses. That's like getting an apple when you're trick or treating. These are the things in these boxes. Bread, turkey and cheddar, and ham in American. Oh man, the way you open that packet. <laughs> I need like a knife. Use the meat to spread it. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't made a sandwich in a while. Wow, that looks gorgeous. I made a sandwich. Post these pictures on Instagram and be like, guess where I got this great new sub from? <laughs> Fred's nice. It's a sandwich. This is better than a cracker stacker. I feel really cool eating it. True story. So these verses hit a tie. There's one more to try? <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's a surprise. Hot dog? <laughs> you said you didn't even like eating breakfast sausage cold. Now you're gonna eat a hot dog cold, girl. I know, you know, they used to have cheeseburger. Did you call me girl? <laughs> that one has a Hershey chocolate bar. It wins. <laughs> oh my God, I see them too. They're like little precious wieners. Keep refrigerated, fully cooked. Oh, they're so cute. Go, go, go. I know how to make a hot dog. Look how cute. All right, here it is. Lunchables mini hot dogs. The fact that we've been eating all of these foods cold and we have a microwave. This is like food you would get if your parents punished you. That's what these meals are to me. They're a punishment. If any friend or family member of mine caught me grabbing a hot dog from the fridge, putting it into a roll and biting <laughs> into it, they would think I was crazy. Hot dogs, you're not, you're not joining. You lose to yourself. There was nothing to compare it against because no one was dumb enough to come up with that idea. Here they are, all of the winning Lunchables from each of their rounds. Hillshire versus Pizza Lunchable. I'm gonna give Hillshire the W. Cracker Sacker versus Brunchable. Super impressed with Brunchable. The bread, the meat, the muffin. Lack the egg, but I would eat it over the cracker stacker. I concur. It's out. Bacon and cheese versus turkey sandwich. I, I'm, dude, it's a sandwich. Yeah. Hot dog's not included. Versus chicken nugget. I think this is unanimous, Julia. Mm -hmm. 
Brunchable versus nachos, the battle to the death. Honestly, when it comes to breakfast, I just don't know if I would actually get this. Where I do know, boom. Every time. It's got everything you need from a snack to a drink and the right size chip for that same flavor sauce. The perfect dip. Like it fits the cavity perfectly. The chips actually taste better than the ones in the little version. Uploaded, Lunchables happen to be our top pick of the Battle Royale. It's winning, it's dancing, it's eleven. Ah! Oh my god, I'm probably pouring it all over here. Oh no, <laughs> okay. It's still in there. All right, well that's it, that's the video. We're done, see you later. We did it. I'm going to bed. Honorable mention. That breakfast sausage brunchable was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. No. I think if you microwaved or even toasted a lot of this food, it would taste just like food. Ha, ha, ha.